What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing another killstreak breakdown, this time taking a look at a 76 killstreak with Ray on the boo. It's been probably a couple of months since I've done a breakdown on the channel with all the new players of the game right now, I've been focusing more on the hero guides as they are a little bit more well rounded, but since I have already done a Ray hero guide I thought it would be a good idea to do another breakdown. Now this is actually the same footage that I used in that hero guide and I don't often like using footage if I've already used it, but in this killstreak I actually got down as low as 20 HP just a few minutes in and then managed to bring it back and keep the streak going, so I thought it would be a bit of a waste to just throw the rest of that footage out. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, we are going to go ahead and get stuck into this kill streak. So the cards that I'm using in this one were Focus Sight, which gives the added time for the inside ability, the Resilient Dash card, which gives that damage reduction on the Dash Strike, and then as you can see there by that one hit kill with the Dash Strike, that comes from the card called Damaging Strike, which just gives the added damage to the Dash Strike. Now, usually at the start of a round, especially with Ray, I, I tend to play pretty aggressively just because I know that there's not likely going to be too many heroes or too many reinforcements or stuff like that. It's generally just going to be a lot of troopers. So you can see I'm kind of pushing up here a fair bit, and especially with Ray having that inside ability, you can you can really push up with your team, and it's not only going to help you knowing where the enemies are, but it obviously helps your team as well. So we've picked up a couple of early kills, and you'll notice that there was a few on the other side, so instead of going around the front of the MTT, I obviously went around the back, and this way you're just going to get behind your enemies, and essentially once you're behind them, it's going to be a lot easier to take them out. Now, right here you're going to see me land one hit, and then I'll just hold the block and wait until he stops firing, and then as you can see, that is a much safer way to get those kills. Now, because I had got behind the enemies, you can see here that there's a lot of sort of easy pickings for me to take out and um, this is exactly why Ray is so decent because of that inside ability you can just tell where the enemies are at all times. Now you can see here this guy does have a sentry so what I did was I hit him once and then dodged behind him and then landed that second hit. He already took about 150 of my health in the time that it took me to land one hit so even if you just double that that's going to be 300 health loss compared to 150 so if you do see a sentry it's always a good idea to land that first hit and then dodge behind them and get that second one because due to the sentry's actual slower movement they actually cannot turn around in the time that you're going to get that second hit. So again you can see here that I am trying to make the most of that insight ability and it's pretty much the type of ability that you, you just want to keep using over and over again unless you are obviously a fair way away from the battle. You can see here that it does run out and then I am still paying attention to the minimap. I do luckily find a couple of enemies over here but you'll see in a minute that as soon as it becomes available again I'm pretty much just going to turn it on straight away and then it does reveal the enemies once again. So we have kind of cleared out this whole side of the map now and as you can see by the MTT it's nearly through that archway so for those who don't know the, the checkpoints for this first phase are pretty much the archway so you can see here now that we are pushed back so I did know that I was eventually going to have to fall back. Um, you can see again that insight is on and I'm trying to just sort of memorize where the enemies were. I could see that there were three so I knew that there were going to be at least three here and as you can see there were three there. So I went for the dash strike. Um, unfortunately there was actually another three that I didn't know. So you can see I lost a fair bit of health there. Luckily I got out pretty much unscathed. I didn't, you know, I wasn't close to dying but here you can see this is where I got down to 20 HP. So in most situations I would probably be dead within the next minute if I was playing with it, you know, most other characters, but I did want to show that you can still get low on HP and you can still have a pretty decent streak because most of the time, like I said, if I if I get to 20 HP, I'm gonna be dead before I get another five kills. But luckily I did sort of managed to play it a little bit smarter here and as you can see now I'm just trying to pretty much just pick up a few kills try and get that health back slowly and yeah not play too aggressive because I know that I've only got about 300 HP left and that that can go very quickly it does seem like a lot when you compare it to a regular trooper but if you've got two people trying to kill you then yeah 300 HP is not very much at all so at this point I'm, I know that I do have to play it a little bit safer and so I do have inside ability and I'm pretty much just sort of defending rather than going aggressive like I was earlier. Um, and you can see here in a second I do get kind of, I guess you would say unlucky but it's kind of lucky that I didn't die honestly. I took a rocket to the face so again <laughs> I'm not going too well here, I'm in a bit of strife and I know that I need to play it a little bit slower and just slowly get that health. You can see here that this guy is on his own, these are the types of kills you want to go for because I know in a 1v1 this guy isn't going to kill me. If there was 2 or 3 it might be a bit different, but 1v1, especially when the guy's running away like that, you're generally going to get that kill without any trouble at all. Now, right here there's actually something that I would not recommend doing. You can see there was an aerial and a commando there, and usually with this much health I wouldn't really do this, but I kind of got a little bit you know, ahead of myself. Luckily I took the commando out without too much trouble at all, and then just because it's Anakin, I'm still on this guy's kill. I do not like Anakin, as you can tell. So. <laughs> I see Vader, um, 
because of my health, I thought I need, you know, I need to get out of there. But then I realised we do have Anakin. We've got an aerial there as well, and this is a prime opportunity to try and get some health back. So I tried to take this guy on. Anakin was kind of following along with me, and in a two v one, especially with Anakin, even though it is Vader, if you've got Anakin there with you, it's you know, it's a pretty safe bet that you're going to get the kill. And yeah, luckily we did. And then as you can see, we're back to 530 health. So I played it a little bit safer, but even still. I made a couple of risky moves there. Luckily, they did pay off, though. So, we're back in the game now. 500 HP is kind of my, uh, I guess, safe area. I know that I can, you know, I can feel comfortable at 500. So, at this point, I was trying to go a little bit more aggressive again. And here, I actually lost a fair bit of health again. Luckily, I took this guy out and, you know, the health regen was going to cover what I lost. But I was kind of in a little bit of shambles right here. I knew that, you know, we are back at 500, but... If I keep going the way I'm going, then I am going to die. So I tried to play a little bit slower here and just sort of reevaluate and get back to my teammates. Now, right as I say that, trying to you know trying to play it a bit smarter, I instantly do something not smart. I'm trying to just charge at this guy, and again, I'm losing health. Um, just simple little mistakes that at the time I even know that I'm doing wrong, and you know I think we're all guilty of this at times. You know you're doing something wrong and you still do it. So again, right here, that that's not a smart move. Luckily, I found this you know little way out of there but this going through the middle there that's not something I'd recommend it was pretty lucky that I got through there unscathed and then here I kind of learnt my lesson I could see that there was only two down there instead of going and chasing them I actually went and flanked them and then as you can see this is just the much safer option and with Ray this is really the way that you want to play nearly all the time you've got insight there you kind of you know you can figure out where your enemies are and then from there you can be a little bit more strategic and just yeah essentially figure out the game plan first and then put it into action rather than just you know running around a corner and banking on your abilities or you know your high damage output or stuff like that now at this point if you look at the the little scoreboard i guess you would say the mtt is coming into the last little checkpoint here and i know that i have to kind of start falling back you do not want to get trapped out of bounds um if you're out of bounds and then you know there's an enemy hero or there's a tank or something like that that can instantly you could be at full health and that can just sort of end your kill streak right there so i'm playing a little bit smarter i'm trying to get back and sort of flank around to this other side of the map and yeah essentially just trying to stay always in bounds because a lot of my kill streaks on naboo especially on defense or honestly just on any map with defense I do tend to get a little bit too aggressive and then you, you know you get caught too far up the map and then that's essentially where your, your kill streak ends right there. So at this point, like I said, I'm trying to just essentially play it a bit smarter because the uh, the phase is going to end in a second and I'm just trying to stay close enough to the, the palace that if I do need to fall back it's not too far of a run. Now, straight up contradicting that, I actually run to this other side of the map and I do press forward a fair bit. Now the only reason that I'm okay with doing this now is if you look at the mini map there are a bunch of teammates who are up here so in this situation this kind of thing is fine just because you can see here there's like two or three teammates around me but in, in most cases I would not push this far up the map unless like I said there are teammates there to help you. Now at this point I'm kind of counting my lucky stars. I know that I don't want to go too aggressive because for me a 40 kill streak I'm like I'm already happy with that as it is and we're only in the first phase. So rather than you know trying to get greedy and get those you know I might have picked up another one or two kills if I went a bit more aggressive. Rather than doing that I just knew that we were going to get pushed back and so I fell back straight away. And then from here you can kind of reset and it's just yeah you just feel a bit safer and you can uh, you can reassess and you know be surrounded by your teammates rather than being out there and risking your life for you know one or two extra kills. Now this phase right here combined with Ray and her inside ability that is the perfect combination. There's going to be so many enemies in such a close area that it really does you know it helps you and your teammates as well. Now you can see here that I did kind of push Vader. Um, I normally wouldn't do this on a you know in a 1v1 but because of all the teammates are there I know that he can't block from all directions and as you can see I kind of picked up a lucky kill there. I didn't do too much work at all and luckily my, uh, my teammates helped out a lot and yeah get that health back pretty quickly now. That, uh, that dash strike down the stairways, that is, you're going to pick up so many kills doing that. You do have to be somewhat safe when you do it, but if you just, you know, if you wait until your insight's active and just see what enemies are down there first, you are going to pick up, uh, like, half your kills in this phase doing that. And you're pretty much going to see it here. That's exactly what I do. I just pretty much wait until insight's available and then as you can see there's just so many enemies to choose from and you do have to play it smart in this situation you can see here that i was going to go for that droidica but then i realized that he's going to deal a lot of explosive damage to me so 
I backed off a little bit there. You, like I said, you kind of want to count your lucky stars and not get too ahead of yourself. Otherwise, that's where most of my deaths come from. Now, here, do not try that. If you see Phasma's turret, do not <laughs> run towards it. I don't know what I was really thinking there. Maybe I didn't see it, but that was pretty dumb. Um, here, I'm trying to play the objective as hard as I can. I know a lot of people in this situation... And there's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of people might not play the objective as hard because they want to go into the last phase, and that's fine. For me personally, I tend to just enjoy playing the objective more than trying to extend the streak. So for me at this point, I was really just trying to get the win. I didn't, you know, you obviously care about the numbers. I want to get a high kill streak, but for me, I have much more enjoyment actually just trying to win. And for me, it's much more enjoyable to, you know, kind of go ham in this phase and just try and defend it and get a lot more kills rather than, you know, play it a bit passive and let them get through because for me yeah it's just not as fun doing it that way and so I tend to play the objective pretty hard here not all you know not all the time sometimes on certain maps I'll you know I'll let them get past so I can get a higher streak but for the most part at least on Naboo anyway I do tend to try and push that objective now again this is exactly what I was saying before the uh, the dash strike down these stairs you're going to pick up so many kills doing that you can see I just got a, an easy triple without really any trouble at all so that is something you want to keep doing over and over again. Um, like I said, play it a bit smart. You don't want to rush down there and not know who's down there because there could be heroes or reinforcements or whatever. But if you do have inside active, then for the most part, it should be pretty simple. Now, at this point, there's obviously only about 35 tickets left. And so I know that, you know, if they're going to push, they're going to push pretty hard now. And this is the this is kind of the dangerous time when you feel a bit safe because there's not too many tickets left but they're going to push pretty hard. And so you can see here that Droidica actually got in there past a lot of the uh, a lot of the teammates. Luckily, I sort of saw him go in there because he could have probably, you know, picked that off, although there were a few teammates coming in, I guess. But luckily, picked him up before he got the objective. Um, you can you kind of notice that I'm just switching sides of the map at this point, and I'm just going back and forth, and a lot of enemies are going to go to the side that the heroes aren't. And so if you just keep switching, they're not really going to know where you are. And uh, like it, like you can see here, I'm just kind of picking up groups of enemies because they're they're all kind of spawning, and then I guess going to the other side of the map. And so you'll just see me keep on uh, rotating sides of the map. And if you do want to up those kill streaks, that is the best way to go, especially with these uh, the staircases with that dash strike. You can pretty much just keep picking them off. You'll see here, I actually get another. I think it might be another triple here as well. So honestly, you just. You pretty much just need to keep repeating that if you want to extend the streak. And the thing is, that is also playing the objective too. If you're on defense, um, essentially that is playing the objective. You're just trying to get as many kills as you can. And as you can see, we do come home with that win. And uh, yeah, definitely a very enjoyable streak. I, I kind of at this point wish that I did maybe, you know, let them get through and extend the game and see if I could have got maybe a 100 kill streak. But I don't know, for me, I do find a lot more joy in, uh, in just playing the objective and trying to lock down on defense. But anyway, that is going to do it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure to leave a like down below to help support the channel. And feel free to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any more Battlefront 2 videos or live streams. If you guys have any heroes you'd love to see a breakdown for, then let me know down in the comments. I'm hoping to cover a few that I've already done guides for so that they can kind of be paired together to be even more helpful. But I will just see what you guys want to see and then try go for some streaks with those characters. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.